Hi, this is Dr. Paul. Hi, I'm Mandisa. Hi, my name is Anne. I'm Tanita. Hi, my name is Rachel. Hello, I'm Herman Lechrenzi. Hello, everyone. My name is Meryl. Hi, I'm Glenn. Hi, I'm Tina. Hi, I'm Tino. What I've learned to appreciate during this lockdown are my kids. Playing with them, laughing, running around, jumping on my bed. Yes, even my own bed, I've also participated. What I have appreciated most during lockdown is the reduction in stress uh, that is normally caused by morning and evening rush hours. During this lockdown, I try and keep myself busy when I'm not working. So I love being creative. Uh, one of the things that I do is to bake as you can see i baked a cake and some muffins i also play my guitar this lockdown has shown me the importance of teamwork and connectivity as even though we are far apart i've never seen us so connected i have over the past few weeks realized how privileged i am to be part of an amazing team one thing i really did appreciate with the lockdown period is that it really forced all of us to slow down um, it got me to a point where i was more mindful and reflective of where i am in um, in life the one thing i've missed the most during lockdown is being able to interact with my clients on a more personal level and actually meeting them face to face what i miss most during lockdown is the robust discussions that we usually have with my colleagues in the office. One thing I do miss, um, and I understand there's still a long way to go before we can open things such as gym, but I do miss um, going to gym. I miss having access to all that equipment and all those weights. So what I've learned to do over this time is the tango. No, not the dance because I'm pretty uncoordinated in that area. It's rather the dance that my wife and I have to do as we try to coordinate our diaries to take into account our professional responsibilities, our personal responsibilities, and let's not forget the kids. Oh, and did I mention the dog as well? I renewed my focus on four main things in my life. Something to do, work, sport, and hobbies are essential parts in keeping me focused on a purpose-driven life. Something to love, family, friends and of course our pets at home. The first thing I'm going to do after lockdown is to go out for dinner with my loved ones. After lockdown I most look forward to being able to see my friends, my family and have takeaways again. What I take with me into the new world is really to worry less, to laugh more and to appreciate the little things in life. To be more considerate to the less fortunate members of our society as they bear the most brunt during a major crisis such as this as we experienced. Lockdown has taught the Lhransi family to think of others and see to help them. Be grateful for what you have. Don't take friends and family for granted and don't underestimate the power of the freedom we have. Do not overcomplicate things. Gratitude, just um, being grateful for things when you have them. Because you never know when things might change and I think this time is testing us all and uh, there's a lot of things that we took for granted that I think we won't be taking for granted anymore. And also never to take technology for granted as it kept us connected to our clients uh, as we offered them the vital support and also to Team Icas as you strategized on how to support our clients. There is a saying, success has the knack of making one complacent. The pandemic has brought us all back to basics. The fact that we could reorganize ourselves very quickly to ensure that we continue delivering services to our clients has proven that a flexible business model is the key to the success of the future. Well, I think um I have a newfound respect uh, for the government in South Africa. I think they've handled things phenomenally. I can't really think of another country that's handled it better. And I think they've done things decisively at the right time and in the right way. I've learned that we must never be complacent. But most of all, that you can never have too much red wine in your cellar. I guess we change lives every day.
and I'm also busy making a blankie. Hopefully by the time uh, life goes back to normal, <laughs> I would have a blankie.